Hi, Joe the Bike Butcher here. Uh, in this th third of a series of three, I'm going to be installing push rods, chrome molly push rods from Andrews, and uh, some uh, chrome blocks, tappet blocks, and a few other things. And as you can see, I've taken the tank off. Also remove the rocker box cover and unfortunately I'm gonna to have to take the rocker arms off to get this together okay after removing the uh, top cover bolts taking the top and the spacer out I've uh, removed these two large rocker cover bolts that are underneath and your shaft should slide right out. There's a notch in here on the side and that cover bolt keeps this from turning. I'm going to remove that. Yeah, everything looks good. Slide that back in and put it away. Okay you can see I have my uh, push rod tube all ready to go and I've got this just finger tight taking out all the lash so there's no slop in it. Then we're going to take this and we're going to go four full turns. Tighter. These are 7 16 inch wrenches on the Andrews. If I get it on there. four turns. Slide the lock nut down. And I'm going to wait a few minutes to make sure these, although I'm sure they're empty, that these tap it's uh, burned down. Um, that's tight. Well, that seemed to go okay. <clears throat> I'm going to install the other one. I've got my little contraption here um, with the clothespin. It holds the um, push rod covers nice. So, what I'm going to do is slide that one around, as I like to do these after. Slide that up. Oop. Back down into the tappet. Feels nice. Okay, it's sitting up there. I've already cleaned the stock uh, arm, rocker arm. I'm going to set it into place and slide our pin in, rocker arm shaft. Now we've got a notch on it. Right here, let me move the camera. <laughs> that might help. Okay, I've slid this, just slide the rock around in there. And make sure you grab the top of the push rod when you're, as you're doing that. Then you can slide your shaft in. And there's a notch in the top of it. We want to put that towards the the uh, bolt bolt cover, and the bolt hole. Clean the bolt, and let's see if we can get this to sit nice for me. Yeah, there we go. This moves around till you. Don't forget your. I did. I forgot my washer. 
an o-ring so guess what that's coming out I'll be back when I fix that yeah let me try it again <laughs> put the washer and the o-ring in the push rod assembly so that will be a real drag uh, but it's early it's right after Christmas so I'm gonna try not to make too many mistakes okay Let's see if I can get this back in here goes right in. Make sure you get your push rod. Okay, notch sideways. Slide that bad boy in there. Put your bolt in. And I'm, I'm putting these in finger tight. I haven't torqued anything down yet. I'm just using them. Well, good thing I'm changing this frame because I just chipped the paint. really just barely finger tight and I'm gonna adjust that the same way then I'll be back to show you how to put the push rod covers back on okay I've <clears throat> taken the rear cover off and uh, I had to split in two to get it past the frame uh, I've already put the intake for the rear in it's at top dead center the o-rings are in I've taken this out and put it back in and I'm just about to slide this pin in like that and I've captured the other push rod and adjusted it a little bit this I'm going to put back together a little and just tighten it down so it doesn't move while I adjust the push rods And I've got the second push rod adjusted down after the lash is taken out, which is no movement. Four full turns. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, I've used a little grease pencil. A little grease pencil here and a little bit here just to make sure nothing else is turning. And it makes it easier to count. Now I'm going to uh, let that bleed down and make sure I can turn these because they're nice and tight. And this one can move now okay okay no sense watching me struggle with the push rod covers basically all I did was use a screwdriver to get that down and then pop that in the head is put back together and torqued down I'm gonna put the head gaskets back on and then I'm going to put the ignition back together put the rotor in and then the module just about to finish this video up I've installed the rotor and I'm about to install the ignition module I've scribed two marks in here to line it up and then I'll put the spacer screws back in in the cover I've already turned it over it's at top dead center everything seems to be running smooth I'll have to put that in but I have to grind the outside of it down I don't want to scratch the chrome but it uh, looks like everything's ready to fire up. Put the exhaust on and off we go. Well, as you can see, it's running. I didn't blow it up. I'd love to take it for a ride, but it's snowing out. <laughs> 